This is the Watchman Implant, a one-time procedure that may reduce your stroke risk for a lifetime. If you have non-valvular atrial fibrillation, or AFib, not caused by a heart valve problem, and need an alternative to blood thinners, the Watchman Implant could be right for you. AFib increases your risk of having a stroke. In fact, on average, a person with AFib is five times more likely to suffer a stroke than someone with a regular heartbeat. That's because AFib causes your heart to beat irregularly, which affects its ability to pump blood normally. And when the heart doesn't pump as it should, blood can collect and form clots. If a clot escapes, it can cut off blood supply to part of the brain, causing a stroke. In people with non-valvular AFib, blood clots most commonly form in an area of the heart called the left atrial appendage, or LAA. Closing the left atrial appendage is an effective way to reduce the risk of a stroke in people with non-valvular AFib. The Watchman implant fits right into the LAA, completely sealing it off so blood clots can't form there and lead to a stroke. The Watchman implant permanently reduces your stroke risk without the use of blood thinners and the worries that come with them. If you take a blood thinner, you are likely aware of the bleeding risks that come with it. Most people can take a blood thinner for years without serious side effects. But because blood thinners help prevent clots by thinning the blood, they also increase the risk of bleeding. Sometimes bleeding can be serious or even life-threatening. For instance, you may experience internal bleeding or bleeding in the brain, which can cause a stroke. If you've experienced this kind of bleeding while taking a blood thinner or think you're at risk for this kind of bleeding in the future, talk to your cardiologist about the Watchman implant. The Watchman implant procedure is safe and minimally invasive and doesn't require open heart surgery. With 20 years of clinical trial and real world experience, including 10 clinical trials, the Watchman implant has a proven safety record. Similar to a stent procedure, your doctor makes a small cut in your upper leg and inserts a narrow tube, then guides the Watchman implant through the tube into the left atrial appendage. The procedure is done under general anesthesia and typically takes as little as 30 minutes. People who get the Watchman implant usually stay in the hospital for a day or less. After the procedure, your doctor will prescribe you a choice of either antiplatelets or blood thinners. During that time, your own heart tissue grows over the Watchman implant to form a barrier against blood clots until your left atrial appendage is permanently sealed off. Many people may be able to stop taking blood thinners immediately after the procedure, and in a clinical trial, 96% of people were able to stop after just 45 days. Make sure you talk to your doctor to understand the right medication for you and how long you'll be on them after your procedure. The Watchman implant is the number one doctor-recommended left atrial appendage implant, and it can be a life-changing alternative to the daily use of blood thinners and the bleeding risks that come with them. Get your customized doctor discussion guide so you can talk with your cardiologist about whether the Watchman implant is right for you. Go to watchman.com guide.